Former NDOC Chief Charles Daniels spoke to the media today here in front of the federal courthouse, saying he was unjustly fired in September. I'm here today to restore and rehabilitate my good name and reputation, to bring light uh, to the facts concerning my forced resignation by the office of the governor and the state of Nevada. But it wasn't long after the governor's office issued a statement of their own. Governor Sisolak's chief of staff, Ivana Kinsella, said Daniels tried to intimidate and extort the state. They say he demanded $1 million of taxpayer dollars in light of his firing. That request was denied, along with a powerful statement that his office, quote, will not be intimidated or extorted for opportunistic financial gain. All of this stemming from a prisoner's escape. Governor Sisolak publicly suggested that he had concerns there was a cover-up to hide that escape. Governor Sisolak asked Daniels to resign on September 30th after Porfirio Duarte Herrera, one of the convicted killers of the 2017 Luxor bombing, escaped from the Southern Desert Correctional Center on September 23rd. He was located and arrested again in Vegas on September 28th. The Department of Corrections says the escape protocols did not go into play until 8 a.m. on September 27th, five days after Duarte Herrera escaped. Kinsella said a convicted murderer was in our community for six days before being recaptured. These events were and remain unacceptable. Daniels also said today that he was making a whistleblower and a hostile work environment complaint before he was asked to resign. Kinsella wrote in her statement that Daniels has not filed a legal claim and is trying to distract from his wrongdoing. Daniels ended his press conference by saying he was wrongfully forced to quit and will do everything to clear his name. I'm Abel Garcia reporting from the federal courthouse.